Hey y'all, welcome back to Squatch TV. On this episode, it's hot here in the Pacific Northwest, and I'm just gonna do a quick salmon out on the grill, or smoker in this case. Uh, I'm gonna run my Green Mountain Grill at 325 degrees, and it should only take, once I put the fish on, it should only take 15 to 20 minutes uh, or two when it's flaky, or to an internal temperature of around 135. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just finishing up making my glaze here. And what's in the glaze is a quarter cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of molasses, two tablespoons of white cooking wine, and depending on your taste, a sizable pinch of red pepper flake. That's gonna give it a little bit of heat. Now what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glaze the fish, right? And then we're gonna let it, uh, here, I'll just show you. How's that? I'll just show you. So we're gonna glaze the fish. And then we'll just let it chill out for 15, 20 minutes. Let that glaze just kind of soak in. I'll probably pour some of this on there too. And then once we let it set for 15, 20 minutes, which works pretty good, get your grill up to temperature, you know, get it to where you want to do. Maybe some fruit wood pellets in there, nothing too strong. Uh, so we'll let it sit for 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so we got our glaze on now. I'm going to put some of Bees Rubs hooked. If you haven't had this on salmon, you really don't know what you're missing. This is fantastic. And it will only complement my glaze. So it's going to be really good. Okay, so just a light... Uh, Just a fairly light coat, right? And now we're just gonna let this chill for 15, 20 minutes. We'll put it in the 325 degree smoker uh, for approximately 15 minutes or an internal temp of about a buck 35. And I'll probably, once I put it out on the smoker after it's been sitting here, I'll probably add a little more hooked rub to the top and it should be good to go so uh i'll bring you back maybe in the middle of the cook maybe when it's just done all right okay so we've been sitting about 20 minutes my smoker's up to 325 i'm going to put just a little more hooked on the salmon here just top it off Yeah, that's good enough. We don't have to go crazy. And then I saved the glaze. So once it's cooked, if you want to add a little more or add a little bit to a bag of rice or whatever you might be having with it, that works good. So another thing to have is a good uh, instant read thermometer if you want to do the thermometer route. Usually with salmon, if you just stick a fork in it and twist the fork, if it flakes, it's done. It's pretty easy. Uh, Okay, we're bringing it out. Let's do it. I better grab a little uh, spatula. Thank you to Mrs. Squatch for videoing for me. Oh, welcome. Ooh, it looks good in the sunshine. You better come back and look at that. Oh, my shadow. Doesn't that look nice? All right. 325 grill. You want to make sure that your grill grates are sprayed pretty good, you know, or olive oil, whatever, whatever it is that you do. And then we'll just take the pieces, set them on just like that. And like I say, it should be about, it should be roughly 15 minutes. Uh, or an internal temperature of about a buck 35 and then we'll be good to go. So I'll bring you back when they're done and inside and I'll do a little taste test for you. All right. 
Okay, y'all, it's been 15 minutes, so let's give them a check here and see what kind of temperature we're at. Oh, they look beautiful. See that fat starts to come out of the top? That's when you know that, yeah, they're right there. Knock uh, still, still a little on the underside. You could eat it right now. I'm telling you what, they'd be fantastic. 120. 120. This one's probably higher since it's a little thin end piece. 131, yeah. So maybe another five minutes and then we'll pull them off. Hang in there. Okay, y'all, it's been 20 minutes. Uh, maybe maybe like 22 minutes. So get a close-up of the thermometer, please. See how... Oh, let me turn it on. I know, I know. Look at that, 131. Looks good. Let's check that one. 138, 9, 139, 140. It's perfect. We can live with that. So we'll just take it out. Look at that beautiful color. Oh, man. We'll bring it over here to the sunshine so you can really see the color before we let it rest. Ooh, how's that? Looks great. Show up good? Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, I'm gonna bring it inside. We'll let it rest for a couple minutes and then I'll show you the taste test. Okay, y'all, it's rested for a couple of minutes. I got my bag of rice cooked up. So I'll show you how we, uh, I'll show you how the old Squatch does the, the salmon. I take the entire bag of rice because uh, I'm a fat guy. Uh, spread it out a little bit, right? And then we'll put a couple of nice fillets right on top of them. They'll look fantastic. I might eat all this fish. Do you think you could eat it all in one setting? I think I could, just because it's so darn tasty. Here, we'll put one more up there. And that makes for a fantastic dinner right there, right? Not too bad for you. Little salmon, little sockeye salmon, a little uh, garlic rice. So the, uh, the fork trick I was telling you about, if you get it in a close shot here, if you stick the fork in like that and then twist it, you gotta hold the salmon. But you see how you twist it and it flakes apart like that? It's perfect. That's exactly what you want it to be. So I'll give it a little. See it come right off the skin? Oh, that is delicious. Delicious. So, if you wanna add a little extra kick, Throw a little bit more of that uh, glaze that we made on it. Or a little red pepper jelly. This stuff's fantastic. That's just, just like a teaspoon, right? And it'll melt down in and it's very good. So there you go. Another meal here at the Squatch residence. Uh, thanks to Mrs. Squatch for helping me get this one done. And uh, yeah, what are you guys cooking? Throw something together and throw it on the page, will ya? Uh, I hope you enjoyed the cook. I hope you learned something. And if you did, like it, share it, and you know the business. Hey, I hope you all have a great Wednesday evening, and as always, an even better tomorrow. Squatch out.